All right, it is a very, very good looking screen. More the mid cap end of trade is what I'm talking about. The mid cap index is now up over 1%. Uh, the Nifty is flat, it's kind of holding on to its gains, but it's the mid cap end of train that's really surging right now. BEL, Zomato, Na Nalco, Tata Power, uh, Hindustan Zinc are all sitting at fresh highs right now. And then you have a couple of these other names like NTPC sitting at fresh 52 week highs as well. PB Fintech is at a fresh 52 week high. And Interglobe Aviation 2 is up 3.5% sitting at a fresh high of almost 3,800 now on Interglobe Aviation. Of course, this entire hospitality, uh, travel, tourism space has been booming. We have seen a lot of other names in the hotel industry too that have done pretty well. And when we spoke to the management of Lemon Tree a couple of hours ago, they said that there is a huge demand up, uptick that we are seeing, especially because of the demographic dividend that India is sitting on with a young population. But let's do one thing. Let us go across to Manisha Gupta now. She joins in. Manisha, what's on your radar today? Well, a lot of stuff really. As you were rattling away names, I could do that in commodities as well because we're looking at multi-month highs and various of them. Gold and silver at all-time highs, 14-month highs in case of copper. And then you're looking at zinc, tin, aluminum, iron ore, cocoa, rubber, all of that actually surging on the higher side. To put some sense on what really is uh, brewing in case of commodity markets, Kishore Narne, Head of Commodities and Currency at Motilal Oswal now joins us. Kishore, first of all, uh, this run-up that we are seeing in various commodities, how sustainable is that? Let's start with precious metals to begin with. Uh, good morning, Anisha. I think uh, the issue is that uh, uh, what we are seeing in precious metals is that uh, an anticipated uh, monetary easing in the Western countries, especially US, uh, is driving number one. Number two, uh, there is a uptick in central bank buying, uh, uh, especially China has been procuring gold for quite some time and uh, that is actually cre creating the physical demand. And third is that on uh, silver, uh, uh, we've seen that uh, the, the physical side uh, deficit continues and probably even 24 also will continue to be in the deficit, uh, mm. whereas some surge in the demand. So both gold and silver as uh, benefiting from the physical side as well as an increased demand on the ETF side where the investment demand came in. Uh, 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 despite uh, dollar being stronger, we have seen gold silver uh, becoming stronger in the especially last one month or so. Uh, so that momentum is going to continue uh, and uh, uh, silver has a lot of catch up uh, to do and probably that will uh, continue to perform uh, uh, higher than gold uh, for some time. Uh, uh, and overall, uh, there could be a correction if uh, uh, if the Fed comes out and says that probably uh, the economy is not uh, ready for a rate cut as the numbers in US economy are still not showing any weakness. The broader economy still continues to be stronger, uh, which is not giving any scope for a rate cut. So probably today, these prices are pricing in a two rate cut policy at this point of time for 2024. If at all reduces, then there'll be a correction in these metals. Hmm. Kishore, uh, uh, the, the whole conversation about that gold is not getting bought, there is no deliverable gold uh, trades happening. It's mostly about speculative trades, money managers, hedge funds, uh, big uh, non-deliverable trades is what is driving gold on the higher side. Do you see cracks coming in this rally at any point in time at all? Uh, not immediately because there is a lot of short okay. covering also happening because de-hedging is a, uh, is a big uh, trend. So when you look at the positions uh, on the short side which are reducing, uh, it's mm. basically de hedging is a uh, is a big cause of that actually uh, because anything above 2100 2200 it makes it extremely comfortable and not to hedge and the the cost of pro uh, producing gold still remains uh, close to around 1200 1300 dollars so the, they're mm. they're sitting at a massive margin at this point mm. of time which discourages them from hedging uh, in these markets uh, and mm. also the second is that forward premium in gold has shrunk so much that there is no point in uh, uh, doing a long-term hedge uh, in these markets and most of the uh, earlier long-term hedges getting unwinded, unwound in the market. So that actually is also creating a, a short covering uh, uh, um, a support for the market. Uh, so mm -hmm. money managers are the last ones to jump into this rally and the uh, last three months have been, uh, 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 have seen that some of the money managers and the uh, uh, ETFs actually has uh, driven some demand uh, uh, here in this, in these markets. All right. Uh, Kishore, I was reading your report that uh, silver can hit lakh rupees a kg. How convinced are you on that one until what time period? And would you advise buying at these levels? And what is the best way to buy silver? 
uh timing is a little tricky one you you you're very well understand that uh, any analyst can really predict a level but not the time so if you ask me at what time what exactly the price would be that i'll be an astrologer so rather than that mm-hmm. I'll, i'll not mm-hmm. the timing part but definitely uh, what we see is uh, uh 34 dollars on the on the silver is uh, pretty much achievable at this point of time which loosely turns out into around 92000 in india uh but silver has a tendency to out outperform itself in in an uh, in an uh, in any scenario either downside or upside so we are expecting it to extend this rally to around 36 36 and a half dollars which will take it briefly above uh, 1 lakh dollars 1 lakh rupees in in indian prices uh so uh, i think uh, most most positive uh, uh timing which i can give is probably before august uh and uh, if at all a base case scenario towards the uh, end of this year All right, I will go with end of this year. August seems too close by from for prices to jump from eighty to almost a lakh and plus, as you said. But Kishore, a quick word on the other commodities also, because it's not just gold and silver. Metals seem to be having a mind of its own the way it's turning one way. Uh, I think so. And that metal market has been super focused on China uh, and the mm. way China is trying to balance its uh, uh, economic uh, uh, recovery or trying to prop up the recovery uh, and. Uh, uh we have already seen a massive uh, uh massive uh, uh, uh what you call bankruptcies in chinese property sector and uh, i think there is the the more bad news the markets actually read a lot of good news in between the lines because the the massive downsurge in in real estate market is actually creating an expectation in the markets that something will be done by the chinese to to uh, to stop this fall and to encourage uh, um, uh, the sector Uh, but because the inventory overhang i don't really see that real estate sector soon turning around but i think uh, there could be a lot of inventory built up which could happen in uh, in metals there has been a lot of inventory uh, uh, drying up in the in the markets uh, so primarily i bet uh, on two metals one is zinc and the other is uh, uh, copper so copper will continue to perform around 900 950 could be the targets uh, uh, for uh, short to medium term uh zinc is something which is again because iron ore is also and the iron and steel itself is going up so i think galvanizing demand is uh, uh, really surging up so uh, zinc can see another uh, uh, 15 to 16% rally from here all right those are big moves anticipated in the markets going forward we've seen a huge run up already multi months to multi year highs in many of these commodities but these are not the levels that you saw these are the levels that you still go long in is what the experts tell us uh, kishore thank you so much for joining us and sharing that sense and strategies for many of those commodities with that it's a wrap on half time report business lunch will take all the action forward